Our topic for today will be about linear differential equations. And in here, there are two linearities in linear DE. The first one is linear in Y. The second, in one, the second one is linear in X. So, in both linearities, there are, there are specific standard forms for each. So, for linear in Y, that is dy over dx plus p of x of x variables times the y bar variable equal to q of the variables of x. And for linear in x, dx over dy plus p of y variables times x, that is equal to q of the y variables. And in finding for the integrating factor, if for linear in y is equal to e raised to the integral of p x dx, and for linear in x, e raised to the integral of p y dy. And for the solution, for linear in y, y times the if or the integrating factor equal to integral of q of x times the if and then dx. For linear in y, x times if equal to integral of q of y times the if and dy. There are several steps in solving for linear DE. Number one, we have to put the equation into standard form. The second one, we have to obtain the integrating factor. And then three, multiplying both sides of the equation by the integrating factor based on the given solution. And then four, finally, we have to solve for the resultant differential equation. So for example, x raised to the fifth power plus 3y times dx minus x dy is equal to 0. For our first step, we have to put it in the standard form. So, we are going to use the linearity in y. So, dy over dx plus px times y my, uh, equal to q of x. Dividing all terms of our equation by x dx, so, this will result to this one, x raised to 5 plus 3y over x minus dy over dx is equal to 0. And then, as we can notice in our standard form, there are three terms. Okay, so we have to separate x raised to 5 and 3y into two terms. So, x raised to 5 divided by x is x raised to the fourth power plus 3y over x minus dy over dx and then we, as we can notice our dy over dx is negative and in our standard form it is positive so we have to multiply our equation by negative so dy over dx now is positive minus 3y over x and then transferring x to the fourth power into the right side of our equation and then from here this is already our standard form and we can see that our p of x is equal to negative 3 over x and q of x is equal to x raised to 4 based on our standard form. On our px, we exclude the y variable because that is, uh, that, because that is part of our standard form. And then, the next step is to obtain the integrating factor. The, uh, this is the formula for the integrating factor e raised to the integral of px dx. So we are going to use this value for p of x. So finding for if, that is negative 3 over x times dx. And then integrating our exponent, that is negative 3 and ln of x. And then raising negative 3 to exponent, so that is x raised to negative 3. And then e raised to ln is equal to 1. So the remaining value is x raised to negative 3. So this is our integrating factor. And then next step is we have to use the solution for the linear in y. And so using this one, we have to multiply both sides by if. So that is y taking into the equation of our solution y times dif x raised to negative 3 
equal to the integral of x raised to 4, our q of x is x raised to 4, and then if again is x raised to negative 3 times dx. And then simplifying, x raised to 4 times x uh, raised to negative 3 is x, and then x raised to negative 3 here on our left side, that becomes our denominator, and then integrating the right side of our equation, that will result to x squared over 2 plus c. And then cross multiplying, we are able to find for our differential equation 2y is equal to x raised to 5 plus c times x cubed. For our next example, y dx plus 1 minus 3y times x dy is equal to 3y squared e raised to 3y times dy. First step again is to put the equation into standard form and we are going to use the linearity in x. So we are going to use this standard form. And dividing all sides, all terms of our equation by y dy, that results to dx over dy plus 1 minus 3y times x all over y equal to 3y times e raised to 3y. And then, we have already obtained for the values of p of y and q of y, which is 1 minus 3y over y. And for q of y, that is 3y times e raised to 3y. And then, for the next step, we have to obtain for the integrating factor under the linear linearity in x. So, our if is equal to e raised to the power of the integral of 1 minus 3y over y times dy, and then separating and integrating both terms for 1 and 3y, so that is 1 over y and negative 3. So integrating, that results to ln of y minus 3y, and then e raised to ln is equal to 1. This value will result to y times e raised to negative 3y. And then for our next step, we have to use the solution in multiplying all, uh, in multiplying both sides of our equation by integrating factor, factor using the solution. So x times the integrating factor y times e raised to negative 3y equal to the integral of the q of y, the, this, uh, this one, and then our if times dy. And then simplifying the terms under our integral sign that is 3y squared dy and then integrating integrating this one that results to y cubed plus c so that results to xy is equal to e raised to 3y times the quantity of y cubed plus c for our third example, our equation is 2 times y minus 4x squared dx plus x dy is equal to 0. And then we have to use the linearity in y and put the equation into standard form. And then dividing both sides by x dx, that results to dy over dx plus 2 times y minus 4x squared over x is equal to 0. Separating terms for y and negative 4x squared in order for us to find for p of x and q of x. So that is dy over dx plus 2y over x minus 8x. And then transferring 8x and then our p is p of x now is 2 over x and q of x is 8x. Next step, we have to obtain for the integrating factor using this formula. So our if is equal to e raised to the power of integral of 2 over x dx. And then that results to 2 ln of x raising to exponent the 2. So ln of x squared and then our if is x squared. We have to use the solution for the linear in y. So that is y times the integrating factor x squared equal to the integral of 8x times x squared dx. Simplifying, that is 8x cubed. 
and then integrating that is 8 x raised to the fourth power all over 4 plus c simplifying that is 2 x raised to the 4 plus c equal to x squared y this is our differential equation and then that ends our discussion for linear equations our next topic will be about homogeneous equations for your questions about this topic the linear equation you can comment down on our discussion section